It's working now, so let's go ahead and get into uh, just chatting. Um, uh, I'm purposely not calling this one any kind of a health update or, or anything like that because um, things just haven't changed since the uh, last session I did and, uh, you know, giving the last health update. So, or the condition of the blood clot, which uh, I just don't want to just stay off that subject today. So, uh, we'll just kind of get into a, a few things that I just want to uh, chat about. And uh, so it's not going to be a very long stream today. And because uh, I do got to get uh, ready for a meeting that's a little bit earlier than, than normal. Um, so let's just talk. Uh, so first of all, um, weather. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are finally experiencing some winter like weather here in Albuquerque. Uh, you know, we, so the, so the mountain has already been snowed on. It's already been snow capped. It's already been bright white, uh, just full of snow. Uh, people, uh, you know, I have family and friends that live on the other side of the mountain and they're posting pictures of all the snow out there, but we have yet to get any here. Now we've had, I can recall a day where it, you know, there was some snow, a little bit of snow flurry here. Um, but for the most part, it has been really nice here. Now, right now, uh, we are getting uh, quite a bit of rain. Uh, we had a big downpour uh, this morning. Uh, so, and I think it's really only going to be one day of this weather here. Let me take a look here. Yeah, one day of this weather. 100% uh, chance of thunderstorms all day today, it looks like. Let's see here if they actually where is the hour by hour uh, missing something here hour the forecast okay so 8 a.m looks like like by nine o'clock it's gonna clear up and then we go right back to normal weather uh, looks like partly cloudy to partly cloudy the rest of the week so uh, so a little unusual weather here, uh, all the rain coming down right now. I'm looking out the window and you can just see it's a, you know, the skies are gray and all the rain droplets hitting the window. Uh, so that's it on the weather. A um, couple other things that are in the works. Uh, I got quite a few uh, video projects I've been working on and uh, a couple of upcoming video projects I got going on. Uh, geez, uh, it, it's just unreal the amount of content that I am sitting on that I, uh, either record, uh, it's being simultaneously recorded while I'm live streaming or I have live streams out there that I've done that I've yet to just kind of go through download or just create clips. So I just did that today, believe it or not, um, my Vegas trip in October, the end of October, uh, I did two live streams out there, you know, one during the day, one in the evening. And, and I just went through a little bit yesterday, a little bit today, and actually started doing some clips, uh, compiled some of those today. So I got some posted to Instagram. I uh, made a short 10 minute highlight video uh, that I posted to YouTube. Uh, let me get that link here real quick here. Uh, shareable link. I think this is it. Let's see here. Paste and go. And yep, that's it. Okay, so here's the uh, the latest and greatest. Uh, not not HD by any means. Uh, it is a um, uh, just you know 1080p 30. It's footage from from live stream. You know, just some Twitch clips and stuff that I piled together of like highlights and moments. Uh, in Vegas, which, you know, there were many, many more, but, you know, sometimes you just got to keep those things a little bit short and kind of get uh, uh, short enough, relevant enough clips that you're going to keep people's attention. Um, so it's good overall, less, a little less than 10 minute video here. I think I could actually post it some, to some other locations that add, that allow up to 10 minute videos. So, uh, so I'll be doing, I'll be doing that. Hey there. Uh, if, 
FYT Gug, how you doing? Uh, welcome to the channel. Um, so as far as video projects, uh, so we did that one there and then I got a couple of up, uh, a couple of other upcoming projects that I'm working on. I'm hoping to work on one of them this weekend. Um, I don't want to mention, or maybe I'll just mention it, but, um, uh, there is a company that sent out an email about a contest uh, that's good. Uh, the, the contest is good for a $500 credit in their store, which I've looked at some things that I could probably get with that. But the main thing is that if you have, I think, uh, a minimum of two videos, um, you get entered into a sweepstake for for an actual bike. So so the so it is. Uh, the the email came out from Nairika, which is the e-bike that I ride. And they just want a, you know, uh, a short video of your Nairika journey or your Nairika experience, which I look at it as uh, I'm actually a little overdue on a, on a video on that. You know, I've, I've actually already posted many, many videos on, on my e-bike and Nairika, the Nairika brand e-bike, you know, it's from, from the assembly, the uh, experience, some of the, the difficulties and troubleshooting, uh, that had to be done, but you know, overall great bike, but it's been one year since I've owned that bike. And, uh, I think it's just time to go ahead and, um, you know, do a one year, uh, review. So I got a new camera, uh, that I want to try. So that's probably going to be used and I think it's time to break out the old drone. I haven't used the drone in a while so I have some ideas on how to use the drone for uh, a couple of clips for the video. Um, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make a really good uh, I'm actually gonna make two videos. I, I think I titled I was already kind of storyboarding here so one of them we're gonna title um, one year review Nairika Prime A4 and then the second one, we're going to call it My Nairika Journey. So, because that's kind of what the theme is that they're going after is um, your your Nairika journey. So I'm actually going to, so I'm going to do another video with using some fresh video, but use some older stuff that I have out there that actually hasn't been published, you know, that uh, would kind of fit well, um, you know, within it to, to kind of uh highlight a, a sort of a journey so so one video will be a one-year review my thoughts and you know on the bike and everything and then the next one will be my journey so kind of highlighting moments throughout that one year of owning that bike um and i thought about a lot about that video because uh, for me um you know for for those that have been around my channel a while and uh, kind of know me, you know, I, I love bicycles, right? <laughs> so, hey, Dimitri, how you doing? I don't know about influencer. Um, I'm definitely not, I, I definitely am not high enough on the totem pole to be in that category, but I like to think that people respect my opinion and such. And, you know, and, it, and it's, it's evident on some of the videos that I post, the, the number of people that come by and, uh, you know the the oil pan gasket on my f on my f two uh, my f one fifty truck. You know I get comments on that all the time. Uh, or when I did the 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 bearings in the washing the, the the bearing replacement in the washing machine. You know people are always uh, asking about those kind of things. But uh, but anyways on on the the cycling. Those of you that that been around, you do know. I love bikes. You know, I have, I think I counted that I own eight different bikes between uh, two road racing bikes. You know, one that is a super, super lightweight, my, uh, what I call my hill climbing bike. Um, and of course, my little bit heavier aerodynamic 50 millimeter Eddie Merckx, you know, what I call my crit racing bike. I have a TT bike. I've got a, a gravel bike. I've got a single speed uh, mountain bike. I got a, a mountain bike. I've got, did I say gravel bike already? I got a gravel bike. Um, my wife and I, we own a tandem. Uh, and then of course I got, and then I, now I have 
the Watt bike, the indoor bike, um, and I also have the Norica e-bike. And this is kind of like a no bullshit comment that I can make on it because, you know, I have a lot of bikes, they have different purposes, and they're all fun in some capacity, but honestly, the funnest bike that I have to ride is that Nairica e-bike. You know, just every, it's just kind of uh, fun to get that bike out every once in a while and uh, just, you know, just go cruise, you know, use the throttle, you know, it's, it's a very powerful bike. It's a 1500 watt e-bike. Um, so it get, it, uh, it can get up and move. Um, so anyways, um, that'll be one of my videos. I'm hoping to work on it this weekend. I think, uh, like I said, this, I was kind of paying attention to weather. One reason why I started out this stream talking about the weather is because I think today's the only day of the rain because, um, in order to do some of these shots that I want to do, there's a, uh, a park, out here it's not really a park it's it's a it is a park but it's actually a very large field that they use uh for the the little league i don't i'm, I'm sure it's not called little league i'm thinking baseball but it's the 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 youth uh, soccer teams use it uh, it's not too far from here but you know obviously they're not using it right now um so it's it's a very large field so i just got some ideas on shots where i would set up uh, my two my wife you know my wife has an Eureka, i have an Eureka. you know set up the two bikes do some drone shots either coming in over the top you know do some circling and then um of course i got that new pocket uh the pocket three uh camera so i definitely want to try that and get some get some clips and things like that uh, for this video. So, uh, so it's for a, a, uh, uh, a contest. Actually, let me, uh, I think I still have that screen open here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, let's pull this over here. Okay. So let's, uh, let me share my screen here. Uh, I think it's this one here. Yep. This one here. Okay. So uh, have you ever had someone lay on your stomach and listen to the noise? FYT, Gug, I think you've been in here and have asked that question before. So I'm like on the, I'm under the impression that you're a bot. <laughs> um, so you're about to get booted. Uh, so anyways, let's, um, so Nairika, um, you know, since I purchased bikes, I'm on their emailing list. And, uh, so they sent the link to this, uh, to this competition. So it's uh, create a video and win a Nairica e-bike. Now, what I'm curious about is obviously I would think that you would need to own one to be in this competition because let's see here. Okay, it says, show off your Nairica bike in a video explain why it revolutionized your riding experience. Make an unforgettable uh, video showcasing what sets Nairica apart. I mean, that's all easy for me. I mean, I have very, very high opinions of, of this brand, this e-bike. It's a very high-quality bike. I love the bike. Um, receive a $500 store credit immediately for the video posted and a chance to win a brand-new Revenant Revenant, which uh, the Revenant is uh, is one of their uh, e-bikes. I'll show you that to you here in a bit. Um, grab your phone or camera and hit the road, blah, blah, blah. Okay, how to join uh, Enrico Grip. Okay, create a, a captivating video using your phone or any camera sharing your Nairica adventure. So I would say by language that you would almost have to own one of these. Okay. So it, uh, I, and I think the reason why I'm pointing that out is, is it kind in my estimation, it kind of excludes, uh, really good creators out there, video creators, uh, because you're talking about your journey. You're talking about your bike. Okay. Um, now I don't think that would mean that, I mean, uh, what, what would prevent me from hiring a, uh, 
an awesome video uh, creator, you know, <laughs> to, to go even over the top of what my capabilities are because I am mediocre at best. You know, I don't, I wouldn't consider myself an expert. I just, um, I like doing what I do. I like how I lay out my clips and, you know, it works for me, you know. Uh, I get some likes, I get some comments, you know, and it works, um, you know, and I try to reach out and experiment and watch other creators and kind of get ideas what people are doing and figure out how to incorporate them with what I want to do, you know. Uh, so let's look at terms here. Uh, let's see here. Create a captivating video about why you love your bike, okay, and discuss the design and performance of the bike. Ensure your video is at least one to two minutes long for optimal engagement. Engagement. Capture the essence of your Nairika experience with good video quality, HD plus in horizontal format. Explain what set Nairika apart from other brands and why you chose it over your uh, preferred ride. Include the bike's name in the title of your video. Utilize proper hashtags related to Nairika experience, which are like uh, hashtag Nairika, hashtag your bike model, which would be the Prime A4, and uh, hashtag e-bike. Hey, Ren, how you doing? Um, man, we're... We're surviving. We're we're living. <laughs> uh, nothing has changed in it. I'm really trying not to talk about it much anymore because it's it's still there. I'm still dealing with it. Still living with it. Um, I can't ride my bike. Still doctor's orders, but we're we're moving on. <laughs> um, let's see. Double your chance of winning. This is the part that. Uh, Okay, so double your chance of winning the Nairika Renovant 1000 by uploading more than one video. So that's why I'm planning two videos. Uh, one of them being a one-year review and one of them being my Nairika journey is are my two planned videos. So if I do two videos, so one video uh, enters you in for the $500 store credit, two videos enters you into the, uh, for the, uh, the chance to win a, a, an actual bike, okay? Yeah, that's un, that's it. Yeah, but if you read this here, hold on. The previously uploaded videos on YouTube aren't considered entries to this campaign. <laughs> so, gotcha. <laughs> so, I definitely cannot use previously videos, but I have tons of content from previous videos that I know that I can interlace. Okay, so. Um, let me so let me finish reading this and I'll kind of explain to you what my plan is here, okay? All right, by participating in this campaign, you agree that Nairika reserves the right to use the material. You post it for marketing. I'm okay with that. The video must be public and should not be removed or enlisted after the campaign, which, hey, I'm not going to take it down because, hey, it just helps my channel steadily grow, right? All right, uh, post the video and then contact, okay? So that's all uh, a given. Um, now look, I have de till December 30th to get this done. That's why I am hoping to work on it, uh, this, this weekend, uh, to get that done. Um, so let's look at the, uh, Nairika bike that they're giving away. Okay. Uh, so it's the Revenant 1000. Uh, it is an e-bike. So... It's this one right here. This is what they're giving away uh, for that competition right here. So let's do a quick view. Actually, no, I just want to click on it and view it. You know, am I a fan of a full suspension bike? Not really, but heck, if I won one, I'd take it. <laughs> I'm not going to turn it down by any means. Um... I just, I'm just not a fan of full suspension. I had a full suspension mountain bike and I'm, you know, and I don't even know that I would use this in a, in a true mountain bike capacity. If I had one, I'd, I'd probably give it away. Honestly, is what I would do. You know, I don't know that I would keep it if I want it, you know, I'd probably give it away. Maybe do some sort of drawing for it. I don't know. Just, I'm just thinking outside this. These are just random thoughts that just kind of popped in my head right now, but that's the bike they're giving away. Um, you know, 
if I could win the $500 store credit, I already know what I would get. Um, I would get, um, where is it? Let's go to spare parts. I would get another uh, 840 capacity battery because I've often thought about uh, there, there are times where when I'm out on my e-bike, I know that I could ride my e-bike in a very efficient mode where I can go several hours, okay? But I've also thought about those times where I would actually like to take my e-bike all the way to the other side of the mountain to my mom's house, but I would need a second battery to switch to in order to do that. So um, that's if I could win the $500 store credit, that's probably more than likely what I would get. It's just another 840 uh, capacity battery. So anyways, that's the, uh, the competition that's coming up. Um, so again, well, competition, <laughs> I got competition on my brain still. The, uh, the videos for the, for the, contests, whatever you want to call it, or in, entry into the sweepstakes. So video one is going to be, uh, like I said, a one year review with my Nyrica Prime A4 because it's it's been about a year now that I've owned, the, that I've had the bike. Uh, in fact, it came pretty much this time last year and I assembled it. So, so I think we're due for a one year review video for sure. And then, like I said, the video number two would be my Nyrica journey where I would use some, some fresh clips that I want to shoot this weekend um, and then interlace some of the videos uh, throughout the, the beginning of the time that I owned it, all the way from some of the assembly videos to writing it around. I've already gone through a lot of my folders of, of different video clips that... I can lace in there uh, to kind of express that that journey of owning it. So anyways, that's uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was um, upcoming video projects. So we got to get that done because the deadline is the end of this month, which there's not much time left in, in the month. Um, so we'll get that done. Uh, let's see here. Who do we still have here? Uh, Ren, I did Ren leave, uh, man, I hadn't seen him stream in a minute. So I just want to, I wanted to ask him what was going on. Um, let's see here. You have, or you already have four or five e-bike videos done and done and done. Okay. You've already, already read that. Um, other things that are going on, uh, Right now, like I said, I, I just finished editing some other videos of just, like I said, just uh, part of why I was going through folders because I kind of wanted to get an idea of like how far behind am I on creating content and creating videos that I should be getting out there and getting published. All right, hang on, y'all. I've got to pay attention to the time because, ooh, okay. I've got about 10 minutes left in the streams and I'm going to have to shut it down. Like I said, it was going to be a short one. I didn't want to do a life and health update. Just kind of want to talk a little bit about things that are going on. Stop posting videos with warm weather. <laughs> uh, yeah. Did you? So did you see the Vegas one that I just posted? Is that? I guess that's not fair, right? <laughs> it was pretty nice out there. Uh, so are you telling me I need to go outside and do some? this gray skies that there's no leaves on the trees type videos right now. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Um, oh, all right. What else is going on? So, um, been having a lot of fun playing games lately. Uh, been hanging out with my, my buddy, uh, rat mania. He's actually a really good friend. I've known him for, you know, 20 plus years we were gaming like over 20 years ago playing call of duty when it first came out um which if you were to see videos of what that game looks like today it looks like you're playing Ro roblox um but having some fun we uh and, po and creating some content again i'm definitely feeling a little bit more 
uh, motivated uh, about doing things versus feeling this constant oppression that I've been feeling the last couple of weeks. So the motivation is coming up. Um, you know, I've already kind of planned on breaking out this IRL streaming gear. Uh, like I said, it's been packed in bags from the last time I wanted to go use it. I've got a brand new camera, so I haven't even I haven't even put the equipment on my desk to bench test UVC mode with that brand new camera that I got. <laughs> no, I haven't given up on it. It's uh, there's actually new con there's new uh, DLCs or new uh, missions that have come out. It's just it just hasn't been in the repertoire it's it's kind of like a cyberpunk 2007 i want to get back into playing that um i have live streamed cyberpunk from ground zero of gameplay on that that game and so so every time i play it i plan to stream it so if i was to go back and capture like the vods i could probably string them all together um, not that I would want to do that because like each time I've played it, it's been like two hours at a time, two hours at a time, two hours at a time. And I think another one was like almost three hours of gameplay. Um, so I definitely want to play that one again. Yeah. If you don't, um, it's, it's just one of those things where like I have battlefield, I want to get back into playing battlefield, but, um, honestly, the 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 new modern warfare 3 with the zombie mode has been really fun um the br the battle royale plays differently than the last season so it's a little bit more fun uh to get in those engagements the comms with my buddies you know and just kind of getting into the game uh it's it's been a little bit more fun this year so i've been definitely trying to stream a lot of that content um, and then, uh, this month, believe it or not, is my birthday. My birthday is coming up. <laughs> I am going to be 55 years old on the 19th. So man, one, two, three, four, five days away, turn 55 years old, which means if I'm allowed to say it in racing age, I will be 56 because the way USA Cycling works is you you race the year of your birth, <laughs> which it's just it's just kind of weird. So in next year, even though it's at the end of the year I turn 56, that is my racing age for that year, even though I'm 50. I just turned 55. So. Um, I don't know what racing is going to look like next year. Uh, you know, the first race that I would have raced would be USAC Cycling National Championships in uh, January, but that is out the door. I will still have a license because um, mine is set to auto renew every year. Uh, so, you know, it's it's only a hundred. I forget what it costs, like one hundred and twenty bucks for the year or something like that, or something like that. So I just let it auto renew, you know, because uh, I always have in some capacity that I'm going to race. So, so anyways, birthday's coming up. i um, looking forward to that. I'll probably end up buying myself another big birthday gift. I don't know. I I kind of thought that that buying myself the Watt bike is, is my big birthday slash Christmas present for myself this year but I'm not really getting to enjoy that right now. <laughs> so, um, so anyways, I've been shopping around for myself, just kind of thinking about what do I want to splurge on myself again? Uh, even though I just spent a lot of money on the wild bike, but honestly, what I'm looking at is our watches. Um, this old Garmin here that I've had this Vivo active three is really starting to I don't, I don't want to say it's worn out, but I've had it for a long time. And so I have, it seems like I have to charge it more frequently. And for whatever reason, like every other day, I have to reconnect it to the app so that it tracks my sleep and all that. And so I think it's potentially getting ready to go out. So 
I'm looking at some new Garmin's. Um, I mentioned the other day on a stream that I bought this watch off of TikTok uh, for $13. And this is a nice watch. There's only a couple of things I don't like about it. Um, you know, it works well. It's Bluetooth. The only thing I, I can't really figure out is, and I can't find any documentation on, is whether it has GPS. So um, I've used it. It does blood pressure, does my heart rate, does all that. It tracks sleep. Um, I used it tr to track a workout the other day, but it doesn't do the same as Garmin where you can actually uh, like put in the number of reps and the weight that you did and all that. Um, so I might be giving this away if anybody's interested. I mean, it, it connects to your phone. It will send the text messages. It'll even... Uh, send the phone and you could answer the phone with it and everything. It's, it's a, it's a very nice watch. I like the fact that it's a 51 millimeter, a very large face because as that's another reason why I do want to replace this is because as I'm getting older, I'm finding that like, I need a slightly bigger phone. I need a slightly bigger watch face. Um, so I'm looking at some other Garmin options, but I might be giving this away. Uh, we'll, we'll see here. It's it's a good watch. I, I'm not giving it away by any means because it's a piece of garbage. I actually gave a very good review on this thing on TikTok. Uh, it's got a nice face. It's you can change the faces on it. Um, it it's it's a pretty good watch for 14 bucks. I I can't really complain about this at all, other than it's not doing the GPS. Um, like if I do a walk and I want the GPS to track it and actually post that to Strava. Um, when are you getting a hot air balloon? <laughs> are you serious? I I don't want a hot air balloon, man. <laughs> uh, there are a lot of people that own them here. As you know, this is a hot air balloon capital of the world. You know, uh, everybody in the world descends here every October. Um, but there's also a lot of people that own them here as well. I don't think I'll be getting myself a hot air balloon. Maybe I'll get myself a hot air balloon ride, but not a hot air balloon. Oh gosh, it's already 7.53, y'all. I am going to have to cut it. Uh, uh, I apologize, everyone. Well, I don't apologize. I try not to apologize for a lot of things, uh, unless it's really, truly an apology. Um, you know, that you've sincerely thought about and you are truly apologetic uh, for something that you did. And you have to be, and my apologies are very specific that if I know I wronged someone, I'm very specific about stating what I did and apologize for hurting feelings or whatever like that. But you, you know, a, a, a false apology is like, if, hey, I'm sorry you, you felt that way. That's that's not an apology. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, Dimitri, get out, go on. I, I wish I could do something but it's going to be probably raining for several next several hours all right y'all my meeting's at eight o'clock so i have like three minutes to get uh several minutes a couple of minutes to get off of this uh appreciate y'all stopping by for the quick chat session like i said no life health updates i just wanted to just talk about a couple of things that were upcoming and, and uh going on so we shall see you on the next one everyone enjoy the rest of your day